So I finally got to experience what it was like going on a cruise vacation and I thought it would be fun to share my experience coming from the perspective of someone who has had reservations about these kinds of vacations. Spoiler alert, I thoroughly enjoyed myself and props to mom for making it happen. So now, at the end of it all, I have a better understanding of what cruises are all about. The embarkation process was simple enough. We gave our luggage to the staff outside of the building so we were hands-free during the extremely long waiting process inside, very understandable, and we were given our room keys when we got to the check-in desk. When we got to our room, our luggage was waiting outside and we got to settle in right away and enjoy the view of the Statue of Liberty. Well, we are in the wrong side. We are on the... <laughs> We were on the even side, which were the odd sides. So. Just go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, oh, you're on the right way. Okay, thank you. So first off, we got the door. Put your key in for light. This is the bathroom. Hello. Love the mirrors. Lots of mirrors, nice big sink. Got some nice towel hooks, stand up shower. Oh, they actually have shampoo. We have a nice mirror to check your outfit. And then we have the closet. Nice. We have a safety box. Storage. What's under here? All right, nothing. What's this? Pool and beach towel service. We got the program. Mom, we've taken over the couch. I like the soft light, very nice. Moving on over here, we have trash, phone, just a nice little clear thing to put your papers. Plenty of space and a big mirror. Two seats. There's New York, Manhattan, <gasps> and the Statue of Liberty. The cruise greets you with having lunch at the buffet and a sailway party at the main pool, which consisted of various line dances and, let's be real, people watching. Leaving the Brooklyn Pier allows you to pass under the Verrazano Bridge, which was an experience I highly recommend to those of you who would rather sit out on the dancing. When dinner time came around, we made our way down to the main dining room and we passed through the halls of specialty restaurants and got a beautiful view of the Galleria Meraviglia, also known as Indoor Party Central. Dinner was amazing and both the food and waiters were a 10 out of 10 for me. And side note, if you have the earlier dining time, you have 30 minutes to arrive and then they shut the doors. After dinner, mom and I took our chances and headed down to the Aurea spa to use the thermal area. It's $130 for a week-long access and all you have to do is make a reservation. The spa has various saunas, bubble pools, and rain showers, both heated and cold. The heated stone beds were by far our favorite part and it was the first thing we would go to whenever we went in. So many options, it was very spacious, and there were many people in there, which is great. So today I didn't get my hair wet um, because it's nighttime. I just can't deal with it. But I really enjoyed, off the bat, the stone bed that you lay on. Oh my god, that was so nice. And the hot tubs were not that hot, so I wish they were hotter. We'll see if the ones outside are hotter. Um, and they had these rooms that had these cloth, like, relaxing beds, and they were not hot. So that was a bit weird, but it was a really nice area to be in. And it's just like really peaceful and quiet. And the dry sauna, very spacious. So we have our daily program. We're at sea tomorrow. Next port, Port Canaveral. Ooh. Tomorrow is gala night. All right, dang. The gym is really nice. I really want to use it. I don't know if that's gonna be tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm just tired after the day of packing, and then today, I'm pooped. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ordered the first little macchiato 
Mom doesn't like her coffee strong, so. Set up. Good? Okay. Set up. got some free bubbly thanks to my parents all of my parents for chatting with the Filipino waiters <laughs> they delivered one to our room one to my in-laws room I have had one glass of wine this entire trip so I'm pretty excited to have some of this tonight I actually just went on a little adventure down to the buffet hall to get a jug of hot water so I could have some tea up here in the room that is the only weird thing about a cruise ship, like I really like having a coffee maker or something in the room, but I understand why they don't have them in here. It's too risky. Um, so yeah, this is quite exciting. How am I going to open this? That's what I'd like to know. Oh my gosh. There is a drawer. This is where the hair dryer has been? Oh my gosh. I didn't realize this is a drawer until I just looked down and I was like, wait a second, it looks like something. Roy T. Let's do this gently. <laughs> okay. Yay! Oh my gosh. Mm, that's good. It's sweet. What is this? This is dangerous. from the white party. 
It's very convenient because it's a bunch of line dancing, so it's not much hard work if you want to participate. So that was great. A very funny thing is people stopped me as I was coming in and someone said, hey, and I turned around and this woman was like, don't take down those balloons because that's our landmark. <laughs> so if you're staying all the way at the end like of a hallway, putting stuff up on your door is very convenient for people trying to find their rooms. So there's the beach, you got the showers, plenty of space, hooks for your towel. So we've moved to Sunset Beach, it's really breezy over here, oh she has the other tripod. So it's really breezy over here. It's not very crowded. The lagoon is very busy. Um, there's also no lifeguards over here, so that makes sense why it's a lot busier in the lagoon. But it's found some tree coverage. So we're not using our umbrella. Um, if you have want to take pictures, highly recommend coming to the beach. Here's the lighthouse and here's the beach. There's mom, beautiful trees. So now we know this beach has a lot of rocks. So it's more for relaxing on the beach, not so much going into the water, unless you have water shoes. And now it all makes sense. So here we go. So the ship had an entire area that was dedicated to sports and gaming and things that were marketed towards younger folk or sporty people, which I didn't really partake in, but I did get to walk through and see the area and there was definitely a lot um, to do. Um, there was also a sky lounge, which was just for adults and you could just go hang out. There was like no one in there, um, so I don't know what exactly you'd be doing in there, but it was pretty and it had a view of the pool and I actually saw some funny games they were playing, large basketball. It was very cute. One thing I did do was the obstacle course in the back of the boat. And you have to wear a t-shirt, but as you can see, I was not prepared. Um, I have a skirt on my shoulders because of the straps. And this was a lot of fun. If you are shorter, you will feel like you're being supported. So I tried my best to kind of move the strap along so i really felt like i was on my own but uh yeah it was challenging there were two different ways you could go um one was easier and one was harder highly recommend if you're you know not afraid of heights and just want something fun to do out in the sun another thing i did was ride the water slides and this is just so much fun i love these the tubes are great and uh, you just needed a waiver and a wristband and that's it. We also went to the little gift shop that they have and got some things. It's just all adorable. It really makes you feel like you're part of the family when you get something. And now let's talk food. The food on this ship was amazing, especially the pizza. They had everything you could ever want. I feel like that's just how cruises go. I really don't understand how someone could say the food was bad. I've heard that, but I was extremely happy with everything and the meats were great. We had cultural foods. This is some of our dinner that we had that night. And they even had a night where they had these special cakes and pastries and they were so beautifully decorated. So make sure to check that out if they have it on your boat. Breakfast. 
David is not much going on because it's raining, so it's just going to be like a chill day packing and back to the show at night and the artist spa. Just did some shopping, got some really fun rings. I like how, as we're about to come off the ship, it's his last day, we've mastered the ship, we know everywhere, and then we have to say goodbye. So it's better sweet. Oh, yeah, mom got her stuff. She got three perfumes for less than the price of one. It smells very good. It's like not very perfumey, it's very like spa like, relaxing. And one's mine. It's time to disembark. It's 7.45 I think and our time is 8.45 so we're gonna get breakfast and then head down to deck six, um, get our bags I think Not at just. the terminal and then we're free to go. And off we go.